Croatia is small but diverse and has many faces. With a surface of just 55,000 square kilometers, this country is a bridge from the Mediterranean to the Alpine region in the north, the vast Pannonia plain in the east and the Dinaric wilderness in the southeast. Pannonian part of Croatia is bordered by lazy, wide rivers with giant wetlands and vast stretches of golden wheat and cornfields between low hills. Croatia's rocky, karst park teams with wild rivers, waterfalls, massive canyons, and lush and barren mountains where wolves, bears and lynx roam. Beautiful Adriatic coast with crystal blue sea is bathed in the sun, full of old stone towns and villages, spectacular beaches and thousand islands. Croatia is a colorful mosaic. The historical region of Slavonia is the easternmost part of Croatia, a vast flat land with high forested hills in the central part. This agricultural land has endless fields of wheat, corn and other crops. Slavonia is known also for its rich cultural heritage and unspoiled nature. The mighty Danube is the eastern border with Serbia. The Danube is Europe's second longest river, flowing through several countries including Croatia. The Croatian section of the river is short compared to other European countries, but it is in its natural state with a vast floodplain. The Danube is also a transport artery of Europe, with long barges navigating the river. Several smaller towns and villages were built on its banks. People live by flood pulses of the giant river, living historically from fishing, agriculture and trade. Only three bridges cross the river and connects with Serbia. Sandwiched by the Danube and Drava rivers lies a rich and preserved floodplain called Kopachki Rit. Almost 20,000 hectares of wildlife-packed nature are protected as a nature park, a natural gem of eastern Croatia. Thousands of geese, ducks and other birds nest here or replenish their energy during arduous journeys to the south or back to the north. A magnificent white-tailed eagle is one of them. This is the haven for deer, wild boar, otter, beaver. They all find their home in the flooded forest of the willow, reed beds, sedges and marshes. Deer rut in late summer is a natural spectacle where dozens of deer congregate. Not far from the wetlands of Kopachki Rit is Osijek, the largest city in Slavonia. Founded on the banks of the Drava River, the city is known for its Baroque architecture, museums, and parks. One of the most beautiful parts of Osijek is an 18th century fortress that was built to protect the city from the Ottoman Empire. Today, the fortress is a vibrant cultural center. and its tower offers stunning city views. Osijek lives on the river, where people relax, sip coffee in numerous restaurants and cafes. Recreation on the river banks is an important for its inhabitants. On sweltering summer days, people find refreshments on the banks of the Drava River, swimming and bathing. The river is here slow enough to allow safe swimming. The town of Jakovo lies in the heart of the Slavonia. The two towers and the dome of the arguably most beautiful cathedral between Venice and Istanbul is seen from afar. These are the most elevated points of Jakovo, and they provide a spectacular view of the whole town and its surrounding area, with fields touching the sky at the horizon. Longsko Poli is an awe-inspiring nature park in the Sava River floodplain and its tributaries. It encompasses a vast wetland area that harbors an extensive range of diverse flora and fauna. 
Rivers flood the wet grasslands in early spring, attracting numerous wildlife, from amphibians to birds. This is a land of plenty. Spoonbills and herons have chosen the Sava Oxbow Lake as a thriving nesting colony. This park is a favorite spot for nature enthusiasts and birdwatchers, as it is the habitat for more than 250 bird species. Water slowly recedes, and domestic animals are released from the nearby villages. Pigs love the mud and come first. As the vast floodplain is drying, horses and cows join them. Local communities share these meadows. People have adapted to the cycles of flooding. They have built lovely wooden villages on higher parts of the terrain. Even on the houses, man and nature are intimately connected. White storks nest on the roofs, especially in Chigok, the European stork village. Visitors can explore the nature park on their own or in a guided park tour. Embark on invigorating hiking or cycling expeditions, or unwind and relish the breathtaking scenery. Longsco Poly exudes a tranquil ambience and is replete with vivid wildlife, making it an indispensable destination for anyone touring Croatia. On the edge of Longsco Poly stands the old fortress of Sisak as a testament to the region's rich history and cultural heritage. Watching the confluence of the Kupa to Sava rivers, the fortress played a crucial role in defending the region against Ottoman invasions. Its triangular structure, made primarily of brick with stone parts for support, features round towers at each corner. Podravina and Međimurje are northwestern regions in Croatia, bordering Hungary and Slovenia. This agricultural land is especially beautiful in spring, with colorful fields of rapeseed and wheat. Djurjevac is a small town with an old fort, a place of historical battle that bears a rooster legend. According to folk tradition, the mighty Ottoman army besieged the fort a few hundred years ago. The already starved and exhausted people took the advice of an old lady. They fired the last small rooster from a cannon towards the enemy camp. The animal hit the Ottomans, who thought that the people of Djurjevac had enough food to throw around, so the Ottomans decided to leave. This battle is reenacted every year in front of the old walls. The fort was built on the sand dune that once covered the entire region. Strong winds from the last ice ages have blown the sand from the Alps and nearby Drava River. The region is sometimes called the Croatian Sahara. The sands are now tamed and covered by a shallow layer of soil, but in some places, bare sand is still visible. The Drava and Mura rivers are one of Europe's last remaining lowland rivers free from extensive regulations and dams. This area has preserved stunning, pristine landscapes. They still have diverse habitats, such as steep banks, sand and gravel bars, sidearms and flooded forests. As a result, they are teeming with life. Sand martens breed on a steep bank, while terns are on bare gravel islands. Otters and beavers roam the murky waters. These rivers harbor significant cultural heritage. The old wooden river mill is located on the Mura River. The sound of murmuring water and creaking millstone take the visitors back to 1902 when flour was ground for the first time on that floating, old man. Not far from the Drava River is Varazdan, the city of Baroque, music, flowers and bicycles. The town's feudal fortress, known as the Old Town, is the most important historical building in Varazdan. It was the center of the noble estate, proprietary and legally separated from the free royal town of Varazdan. Varazdan hosts the famous Spanserfest, the street festival of good emotions in summer. 
The classical music festival, Varazd and Baroque Evenings, celebrates music, Baroque architectural inheritance and authentic instruments in autumn. The Zagoya region, detached from Zagreb by Medvednica mountain, is a land of hills, vineyards, forests, and small fields in the valleys and castles. This region was free from Ottoman rule, a genuine Central European land. Many castles dot the landscapes, reflecting the medieval past. Trakoskan Castle is a gem of medieval architecture in northwestern Croatia. Perched amid the scenic forested hills near Bednia, it was built in the 13th century and has since been reconstructed several times. Trakoskan was used as an observation fortress on the northern border of Croatia to Slovenia. After the castle lost its importance as a fortification, it began to decline. In the 19th century, it was rebuilt as a residential palace of the noble Draskovic family. The castle is now a popular tourist attraction, known for its picturesque setting and stunning architecture. The interior is open to visitors as a museum, a testimony to old times. A small sinuous pond was built beneath the castle with a circular hiking trail. An old town once stood on Kalnik Hills, stopping the invading Mongol army and sheltering King Bela. Centuries later, only ruins remain. Today, only hikers visit this historic site. Samobor Hills is a favorite spot for hiking, with beautiful trails in dense beech forests and meadows. Close to Zagreb, the trails are full of nature and sport-oriented people. Numerous streams in a deep forest enrich the natural experience, with small rapids and even waterfalls. Zagreb, the capital and largest city of Croatia, is built on the foothills of Medvednica Hill. The city has a rich history, with evidence of human habitation dating back to the Stone Age. Today, Zagreb is a vibrant city with a mix of old and new architecture, cultural events, museums, and parks. Zagreb's must-see attractions include the cathedral, the Croatian National Theatre, and many other historical monuments and lovely parks. The main city square is a vibrant heart of Croatia. There are also many restaurants, cafes, and bars where you can enjoy traditional Croatian cuisine and drinks. Colorful Dolak is the food market in the very center of Zagreb. Karlovac is a historic town in the narrowest part of Croatia. It is a town of four rivers, where they flow in the other. These are the Mireznica, the Dobra, the Kupa and the Korana rivers. From Karlovac to the Adriatic coast, the geology abruptly changes. Instead of plains with soft soil, a rock predominates. It is a land of karst, a porous limestone rock. Imrežnica is arguably one of the most beautiful rivers in Croatia, flowing in its forested canyon and dammed by the natural tufa waterfalls. Its color is stunningly green, and the water is clean. This river has two faces. One is wild with waterfalls and cascades, and the other is slow and serene. In total, there are almost a hundred waterfalls. People have built numerous wooden and stone watermills, tapping the natural energy of the river and creating a beautiful symbiosis of people and nature. Mireznica is perfect for swimming, paddling, and relaxing in nature, especially in hot summer days. 
Rastoke is a picturesque village near the town of Sloon, on the confluence of the Sloonjitsa and the Korana rivers, in lush greenery and cascading waterfalls. The water mills in Rastoke were used for centuries to grind grain and saw wood. Many have been restored and turned into charming restaurants, cafes, and souvenir shops. Visitors can stroll along the wooden footbridges and admire the waterfalls or take a boat ride to explore the rivers and the surrounding nature. The crystal clear waters of the Dobra River flows under the old stone bridge arches. Above the river and bridge stands elevated Novigrad, a historical fortress built west of Karlovac in the 14th century. From Karlovac, low hills gradually rise to high mountains. Klek is one of the first mountains visible even from Zagreb. Its stony peak has borne the legends of the witches. Gorski Kotar is a mountainous region of central Croatia, sparsely populated. Only a handful of larger settlements are located here, and people live from forestry. Dense, lush forests, fed by copious rain and snow, cover most of the region. Gorski Kotar receives the highest precipitation in Croatia. Even though these forests grow on porous rock, enough water remains for the rich vegetation. Unlike most of their counterparts in the Alps that are actually plantations, these forests are natural, with many species of plants found nowhere else in Europe. Gorski Kotar is known for its diverse flora and fauna, including bears, wolves, and lynxes. Almost 1,000 bears live in Croatia, finding enough food and cover. Rishniak National Park offers numerous hiking trails and spectacular views of the surrounding landscape. The highest peak of Rishniak can be reached by a well-marked trail and offers panoramic views of the Adriatic Sea and the nearby mountains. Bijele Stiene is a nature reserve renowned for its giant limestone towers and incredible wilderness. This is a maze of rocky passages that can be explored for days. Beneath the rocks are small natural gardens where soft land has accumulated and dense lush vegetation thrives. In some places, in deep shade, snow remains even during the summer. Not a single human structure is visible for dozens of kilometers. Dawn usually creates a beautiful spectacle with the dancing fog in the valleys. Water quickly disappears underground through the porous rock, so the rivers in Gorski Kotar are short, few and far between. The Kamichnik River is just three kilometers long but brimming with small waterfalls, cascades, rapids and even a tiny gorge. The waterfall in Zeleni Vir is about 70 meters high and creates a magical misty atmosphere. The waterfall is surrounded by lush greenery, moss-covered rocks, and clear pools of water. It's a true paradise for nature lovers and hikers. Several small rivers were dammed, forming beautiful artificial lakes. One such lake is Bayer in Fuzin town, encircled by a walking path and benches, making it a perfect spot for a relaxing walk or a picnic with family and friends. Another lake is near the town of Lokve, with a stunning backdrop of the mountains. The Kupa is the largest river in Gorski Kotar, a natural border with Slovenia. The upper stretch of the Kupa River reveals a beautiful emerald source in the form of a deep lake. The river then flows through the rapids in the shade of the giant trees. 
More downstream, Cooper forms a massive valley with many waterfalls and watermills. The old manor in Severin overlooks the river on the valley's top. Some spots are popular swimming sites. Croatians and Slovenians meet to swim on a waterfall with watermills. Azal Castle sits atop a hill overlooking the Cooper River, providing a commanding view of the town and the surrounding countryside. The castle was built in the 13th century and has undergone numerous renovations throughout its history. Protected by dense forests, Plitvice Lakes National Park is a nature lover's paradise and one of the most known parts of Croatia. With its stunning turquoise lakes, cascading waterfalls, and lush greenery, this UNESCO World Heritage Site is truly a masterpiece of nature. The park is spread across nearly 300 square kilometers and is home to a unique ecosystem teeming with diverse wildlife and flora. Plitvice Lakes was officially established as a national park in 1949, making it one of the oldest national parks in Southeast Europe. The park is a paradise of 16 larger and countless smaller interconnected lakes, each with its own distinct color and charm. The limpid waters range from emerald green to azure blue, creating a mesmerizing symphony of colors. Numerous wooden walkways wind through the park, offering panoramic views of the lakes, and pass by cascades, small caves, and hidden coves that add to the park's enchanting atmosphere. Elegant and silent electric boats are another excellent option for exploring the park. No visit to Plitvice Lakes is complete without witnessing the mesmerizing waterfalls that dot the park. The most famous waterfall, Veliki Slap, stands at an impressive height of 78 meters and is a sight to behold. As the water plunges down the cliff, it creates a powerful mist that fills the air with a refreshing coolness. In addition to Veliki Slap, innumerable smaller waterfalls are scattered throughout the park, each with its unique charm. Encompassed by large mountains from all sides is a Lika Highland with small hills. It is a vast open space of forests that gradually turn to grasslands and rock as we go south. Elongated carts plains between the hills are perfect as a pasture, mostly for sheep and cows. Lika is also home to several charming towns and villages, such as Gospic, Otochats, and Koronitsa. These towns offer visitors a glimpse into the region's rich history and culture, with historic landmarks to explore. Brinje town still holds old towers. A historic stone bridge spans over the river Lika in the village of Kosen. The bridge was built in the 18th century and has been well preserved. Short rivers flow through karst plains, usually springing on one side, and disappearing again on the other. They are called lost rivers. Gatska is one of the few rivers of Lika Plateau near Otochats. Its sources are emerald quiet lakes that spring from the deep underground, where people have built wooden watermills to use its gushing power. The Gatska then slowly meanders in its wet, almost marshy valley. Huge trouts live in its clear and cold waters, a mecca for anglers around the world. Fly fishing in the green, rural and almost bucolic countryside has become the best attraction of this region. Lika is a land of harsh climate, with long and cold winters. Sunny days offer however idyllic countryside from fairy tales.
Massive Velabit Mountain, a rocky barrier 140 km long stands between Lika and the Adriatic coast. Winters are extreme here, especially during Bura winds that ferociously sweep the mountain. Whipped by Bura, soaked by rain and snow, this empire of nature and wilderness is often inhospitable to man. Velabit is a mythical Croatian mountain, a true wilderness. The bears and packs of wolves prowl, and golden eagles monitor their territory from high altitudes. Treading the numerous beaten tracks, generations of mountaineers keep rediscovering this mountain's charms. Zavizan is maybe the most famous spot on the Velabit mountain. This is a mountain house and a meteorological station at the same time. The good white road leads to this place. Also, there are several mountain trails. The vistas are remarkable to the Adriatic Sea. Zavizan is the starting point of the famous Premužić Trail. As there are virtually no steep ascents, it's suitable for inexperienced hikers too, offering grand views on the striking rocky summits and the coastline. This trail is 57 kilometers long, and hikers can walk it in three or four days. And while most of the peaks of Velabit are grasslands, with only a stone cap on top, or are overgrown with forests, some places are bare rock. The ruggedness of Tulov Grede in South Velabit is rivaled by that of Hajduchki and Rozanski Kukovi in the north or Dabarski Kukovi in the central part. Paklanitsa is a national park in the southern part of the Velabit mountain range. The park is named after the Paklanitsa Canyon, a stunning natural wonder that attracts hikers and climbers worldwide. The canyon is about 14 kilometers long and 500 meters deep, with two main gorges, Velika Paklanica and Mala Paklanica. The Zermania River springs below Velabit Mountain. This river forms canyons with giant waterfalls, and Visoki Book is the largest on the river. Kayakers enjoy riding the rapids and smaller cascades in this otherworldly landscape. Together with the Krupa tributary, these rivers are oases in the rugged terrain of the North Dalmatian hinterland. Scarce rains and poor cast soil have rendered the land infertile. Dalmatian rivers are short and isolated but define the geography, giving life to this rough land. The most exciting part of the Krupa River is Kuda's Bridge, a protected monument from the 18th century. The legend tells that the bridge was built by Kude, a young shepherd who was in love but was separated from his love by the river Krupa. Vransko Jezero is the largest natural lake in Croatia, situated between the towns of Biograd and Pakosten. It is a natural habitat for numerous bird species, including rare and endangered ones, like the pygmy cormorant. The lake is also an attractive destination for anglers, as it is abundant with fish, such as carp, pike, and catfish. The surrounding area is rich in flora and fauna, with many cycling and hiking trails available for visitors. Karmaniak Hill is a perfect spot to observe the surrounding area and the Adriatic Sea and wait for romantic sunsets. The Kirka River near Shebenik is famous for its waterfalls and canyons but also for its natural heritage, which is protected as a national park. Skrodinsky Book, the longest waterfall in Europe, comprises many smaller cascades. 
First, a maze of emerald green, fish-filled river lakes, connected by smaller falls and rapids, then an 800 meters long cascade that descends by almost 46 meters before crashing into the estuary. Manoilovitz waterfall is another giant, swelling with water in spring, hidden in lush greenery. It is the highest waterfall of the Kirka River, 60 meters high, 500 meters long, and 80 to 100 meters wide. It consists of a series of tufa barriers. A series of low cascades, almost 500 meters long, are called the necklaces because of their beauty. Parts of the river between the tufa barriers flow slower, almost like lakes. Visovitz is a small island amid such wide and slow-flowing stretch. The island is home to a beautiful Franciscan monastery and church dating back to the 15th century. Several forts once watched over these canyons, like the one on the Chicola tributary. Klachitsa, the largest and most beautiful medieval fortress in the Kirka River Basin, was erected on the top of a steep cliff on the bank of the Chicola River. Scraden town was built on the Kirka River in another river widening. It is a charming old town with historic buildings and narrow streets lined with cafes and restaurants on the waterfront. There is even a beach on the river. Visitors can take a boat ride from Scraden to the Kirka National Park. The Kirka River Springs in Nin Town, below the Dinara, the highest mountain in Croatia with 1,831 meters above the sea. It is a rocky giant with few trees. An old fort guards the entrance to this mountain. Beneath Dinara Springs another river, the Satina. Its source is a deep lake, the Earth Eye. The Satina flows first on the wide and flat karst plain, resembling an African savanna, then entering deep and narrow canyons. Satina is a heaven for rafters, with narrow gorges and canyons alternate with widenings and smaller river valleys. In peak season, this part of the river is swamped with rubber dinghies, bouncing on and against Satina's waves. Some sections of the canyons are so narrow and impassable that they can be reached only dressed in wetsuits and wearing life jackets and safety helmets. Canyoning on the Satina River has become a significant attraction, exploring and touring the canyon and conquering the waterfalls with the help of climbing ropes. Satina joins the Adriatic Sea in Omi's town, where river sediment has created a long sand beach. The town of Imitski in the Dalmatian hinterland hides two mesmerizing lakes. The larger one is called the Blue Lake, and the smaller one is the Red Lake. The Blue Lake is a magnificent water-filled sinkhole resembling a giant crater, surrounded by steep cliffs that drop 200 meters deep into the ground. The lake is deep and clear, with a stunning blue-green color that changes throughout the day. Visitors can walk around the rim of the lakes, enjoying the breathtaking views and the fresh air. Naretva is the last big river in southern Dalmatia, spreading in a spacious delta. It is a low and flat river valley nestled between karstic hills. The upper part is a natural heaven of vast reed beds with immense biodiversity. The lower part is endless plantations of tangerine, watermelon and other Mediterranean fruits. The mouth of the river is a spacious saline wetland with many wading birds. The shallow sea is especially prized by kite surfers. Not far from Naretva are Bachina Lakes, a group of seven interconnected freshwater lakes almost on the Adriatic coast. The lake's edges are densely overgrown by reeds and lush greenery in contrast to harsh cast rocks on the nearby hills. These lakes offer a peaceful retreat for nature lovers.
The Adriatic coastline is a magnet for tourists, offering sun, clear sea, still unspoiled beaches bathed with lots of sun, and small historical towns made of stone polished by millennia. Almost the entire Croatian coast is rocky, and so are the islands. Nearly 6,000 kilometers of the coastline have numerous peninsulas and bays. Sprinkled along the eastern Adriatic Sea, almost 1,000 Croatian islands and islets are genuine pearls of the coast. The Dubrovnik region on the southernmost tip of Croatia is much isolated from the rest of Croatia. The narrow stretch of countryside hosts smaller villages and towns in an idyllic environment. The sparkling jewel of Dubrovnik is a beautiful revelation of Croatia's rich history and captivating culture. The city's strategic location on the Dalmatian coast offers breathtaking views of the Adriatic Sea. Whilst its rich cultural heritage is reflected in the well-preserved old town and its impressive city walls. The iconic Dubrovnik walls are a testament to the city's strategic significance in the past the center of the Dubrovnik Republic, a rival of Venice. Built in the 10th century and fortified over the years, these walls have withstood countless sieges and invasions. Today, it is a world-famous tourist destination, a pinnacle of Croatian Adriatic coast experience. Its ancient walls, regal architecture, and cobbled streets whisper tales of a bygone era. At the same time, its vibrant nightlife, gourmet cuisine, and stunning beaches add a touch of modern charm. Dubrovnik is a UNESCO World Heritage. From the intricate Baroque buildings to the serene blue waters, every corner of this city unveils a new surprise. Elongated and long, Pelješic Peninsula still offers authentic landscapes and life. Ston is a small town on the entrance to the peninsula, with impressive defensive walls, the longest in Europe, stretching 5 kilometers. It was a major fort of the Dubrovnik Republic, whose defensive walls were regarded as a notable feat of medieval architecture. Ston is also known for its salt pans, which have been used since Roman times. The town is an excellent destination for history and architecture enthusiasts and those who enjoy fine seafood, as the area is well known for its oysters. Nearby Mali Ston Bay has many oyster farms, considered among the best in the world. Pelješic is also known for its vineyards and top-quality dingik vine, growing on a steep slope above the sea. Orobic is a center of surfing, thanks to the good winds. Just across Pelješic is Korčula Island with Korčula Town, another historical gem reminiscent of Dubrovnik. It is a fortified town with well-preserved medieval architecture, narrow cobbled streets, and impressive city walls dating back to the 13th century. The town is also famous for being the birthplace of Marco Polo, the famous Venetian merchant and explorer. The surrounding sea has turquoise hues reminiscent of the tropics. Badia is a small island near Cortula, where Franciscans built the monastery in the 15th century. This impressive building features a stunning bell tower and a museum showcasing artifacts from the island's history. On the nearby Miet, dense pine forests cover most of the island. Miet National Park protects almost a third of the island and includes two marine lakes, Veliko and Malo Yezero. Visitors to the park can take a boat ride to St. Mary's Island, located in the middle of Veliko Yezero, and explore the 12th century Benedictine monastery. The monastery is open to visitors and features beautiful Romanesque and Gothic architecture. Odysseus Cave is a natural sea cave on Miet Island's southeastern coast. It is named after the legendary Greek hero Odysseus, who, according to legend, was shipwrecked on the island and found refuge in the cave. 
The water inside the cave is a beautiful shade of blue, and visitors can swim and snorkel in the cave's clear waters. The remote island of Lastovo is challenging to visit. Still, it compensates for this with unspoiled nature and culture, the authentic Mediterranean that once was. An even more remote island is Palagrura, in the middle of the deep Adriatic Sea, about 68 kilometers south of the island of Cortula. Little rain falls here, rendering it in the stunning natural barren landscapes with unique flora and fauna. The island is also home to a 19th century lighthouse. Makarska Riviera is a beautiful part of the mainland coastline between Dubrovnik and Split. It is a narrow stretch of fertile land below the imposing cliffs of Biokovo Mountain. The Riviera boasts an incredibly translucent sea, beautiful beaches, and picturesque towns. Duba is a stunning pebble beach lined by pines and olive trees. The main town of the Riviera is Makarska, a bustling tourist destination with a charming old town, excellent restaurants, and a lively nightlife scene. Other popular towns along the Riviera include Bashka Voda, Tuchepi, and Podgora. Split is a vibrant city on the central Dalmatian coast. It is the largest Adriatic city and the second largest in Croatia. Split combines ancient history with the modern metropolitan world, including many events. The city is built around the Roman Emperor Diocletian's Palace, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the best preserved Roman structures in the world. The palace complex is home to several museums, galleries, and restaurants, as well as the Cathedral of St. Domnius, the oldest Catholic cathedral in the world. Other popular attractions include the Riva Waterfront Promenade, the Marion Forest Park, and Bachvitse Beach, one of the most popular beaches in the city. Riva Waterfront Promenade is the heart of Split, lined by cafes and restaurants, a melting pot of world languages. Split is also an excellent base for exploring the nearby large islands, including Havar, Brach, and Vis. Havar is known for its stunning beaches and nature, but what especially stands out is its rich cultural heritage with many historic stone buildings. Stari Grad is the oldest town in Croatia. In the same year 384 BC, when the Greek philosopher Aristotle was born in Trachea, the Greeks from Paros in the Aegean Sea settled the town on the island of Havar and named it Pharos. The town is situated in a landscape where the blue of the deep bay touches the green vineyards and olive groves. Havar Town, the island's largest settlement, is a popular tourist destination for its beautiful architecture, charming old town, and vibrant nightlife. Guarding the town on the hill is Fortitza, a stone fortress, now a beautiful recreational avenue. Just off the coast of Havar town are the Pakleni Islands, a string of small islands. They offer unspoilt nature, prized by sailors who explore its hidden coves. Pakleni Islands is an oasis of nature with just several stone houses. Brach Island, on the other hand, is primarily known for its magnificent beaches. Zalatni Rat is a stunning beach on the southern coast of the island. It is one of the most beautiful and unique beaches in the world, known for its shape, which changes depending on the tides and winds. Zalatni Rat is a long, thin strip of white pebbles extending into the Adriatic Sea's clear turquoise waters, surrounded by pine forests and natural landscapes. The island is also famous for its white limestone, which has been used to build many famous buildings worldwide, including the White House in Washington, D.C. Hidden in a remote limestone canyon in the northern part of the island is Blatza Monastery. The building itself looks like a part of the cliff. 
The monastery was founded in the 16th century by Glagolitic priests who fled to the island to escape the Ottoman invasion of the mainland. A short distance from Split to the north is Tregear town, another historical and architectural gem. The center was built on a small island connected to the mainland by a bridge. Tregear Old Town is a masterpiece of architecture and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Dragon's Eye Lake is a unique geological formation near Rogersnitzer. It is a circular pool of water surrounded by high cliffs, with a small bottom opening connecting it to the sea. The water in the lake is clear, with a maximum depth of around 15 meters. Nearby Primoshten is a small town located on a peninsula on the coast between Shebenik and Split. The old town of Primoshten was founded on a small hill with a church on the top. Across the hills around Primoshten is a geometric cluster of small vineyards protected from elements by dry stone walls. The oldest vineyards probably date from the 16th century. They are appropriately described as the stone lace of Primoshten. Even further north lies Shebenik, a historic city at the estuary of the Kirka River. An old St. Nicholas fortress guards the entrance from the sea. Shebenik is one of the largest towns and one of the most beautiful, with the old town and its narrow winding streets brimming with history. One of the most popular attractions in Shebenik is the Cathedral of St. James, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most beautiful examples of Renaissance architecture in Croatia. Other historical buildings in Shebenik include the St. Michael's Fortress, a medieval fortress that offers panoramic town views. The town has a lively cultural scene and hosts various festivals and events throughout the year, including the International Children's Festival and the Shebenik Dance Festival. From Shebenik to Zadar further north is a string of smaller and medium-sized islands, often with only a single small sleepy village. These are supremely unhurried places, with little nightlife, relaxed and perfect for natural relaxation. The Kornati are a breathtaking archipelago on the outer chain of islands. Comprised of 89 islands, islets, and reefs, the Kornati are a protected national park and a popular destination for boaters and nature lovers. The islands are rugged and barren, with cliffs and rocks rising from the clear blue sea. Telashitsa Nature Park is almost touching Kornati, a stunning natural reserve on the southeastern coast of the island of Duvia Top. The park covers an area of 70 square kilometers and includes a large bay, steep cliffs, and numerous small islands and islets. The bay is a natural harbor protected from the open sea by the long, narrow strip of land separating it from the rest of the island. The spectacular cliffs rise from the sea to over 160 meters. One of the park's most famous attractions is the Mere Saltwater Lake. In this unique natural phenomenon, water from the sea mixes with freshwater from underground springs. The lake is renowned for its healing properties and is a popular spot for swimming and relaxation. The rest of Duby Island is also interesting, especially Sakharun Bay. The beach is one of the most beautiful in Croatia, with its turquoise waters and white sand stretching over 800 meters. Zadar, on the mainland coast, is another magnificent historic town. One of the most popular attractions in Zadar Old Town is the sea organ. This art installation uses the power of waves to create music. Another installation of the brilliant architect symbolizes the communication between man and nature. This stirring monument consists of 300 multi-layered glass plates that absorb solar energy during the day and create a spectacular waterfront light show just after sunset. 
The town also has several other historic landmarks, including the Protecting Walls, Roman Forum, St. Donatus's Church, and the Cathedral of St. Anastasia. Visitors can also explore the city's museums, galleries, and cultural institutions. In summer, Zadar is teeming with tourists and has a lively nightlife, with many bars, clubs, and restaurants offering a variety of food, drinks, and entertainment. Nearby Nin is an old royal town, built on a small island, where, according to folklore, seven Croatian kings were crowned. The recognizable symbol of this ancient town, the Church of St. Nicholas, is located in a nearby field. The Church of the Holy Cross in the heart of the town still stands from the 9th century. It is often called the smallest cathedral in the world. Nin is also blessed with long sandy beaches like Queen's Beach. Besides summer fun, people gather here for medicinal black mud. The salt pan adjoins the center of the old town. It is the oldest economic activity in Nin. With modern machinery today, salt production is mainly as it was back in Roman times. The adjacent salt lagoon is a natural wetland with many bird species, making Nin an important site for birdwatchers. The black-winged stilt is an elegant bird nesting in the salt pans, now a natural symbol of Nin. As we go further north, we meet a barren wasteland. The island of Parg is rugged, with rocky hills and plateaus covered in low shrubs and grasses. Ferocious Bura wind from Velabit Mountain blows away the soil and brings deadly salt. The mainland facing side of Parg is comparable to the moonscapes, with rocks sculpted in fascinating ways. The other side of the island, protected from the Bura, is green and inhabited. Parg is like no other Adriatic island. People on the island produce delicious cheese made from local sheep's milk, which has a distinctively salty flavor due to the island's unique climate and vegetation. Olive trees on Lund Peninsula of Parg are centuries old and still offer the harvest. The coastline of Parg is dotted with picturesque coves and beaches, many accessible only by boat or on foot. The most famous beach on Parg is Zerche, a long, sandy beach with many lively bars and clubs that attract party-goers worldwide. Parg is home to many other beaches, making it one of Croatia's most popular destinations. The neighboring island of Rab also has two faces, barren and green. Additionally, the Lopar Peninsula of Rab is unusual for the Adriatic for its sandstone geology. Winds and rains have sculpted sandstone in almost artistic forms. Sand springs everywhere, with specific flora and fauna. The island is home to over 30 sandy beaches, with many in secluded coves, perfect for swimming, sunbathing, and relaxation. One of the most famous beaches on the island is Paradise Beach, prized by children for its golden sand and shallow waters. The island's old town of Rab is a maze of narrow streets, ancient buildings, and picturesque squares. Visitors can explore the town's many historic landmarks, including the four bell towers, the ruins of a Roman palace, and the Church of St. Justine. Kavana is a large bay between the Istrian Peninsula and the Rijeka region. We can find here the largest Croatian islands, Sreys and Kirk, also other smaller ones. Kirk is also divided between the barren landscape facing the mainland and other forested side with many villages and small towns. Vrabnik sits atop a cliff overlooking the sea and is home to many charming stone houses and narrow streets that lead to the town's central square. One of the most recognizable landmarks of Kirk Town is the Frankopan Castle, which dates back to the 12th century. Koshalan is a small islet near Punat, where a Franciscan monastery was founded in the 15th century. 
Srays is a hilly island with a rugged coastline, high cliffs, forests and rocky grasslands. While modern Srays town is the island's largest settlement, several others offer a glimpse into the past. Lubanitse is a small village built on a cliff overlooking the coast of Srays. Its stone houses have changed little over the centuries, but it is almost deserted, with only 20 permanent people living here. Asor is a small town on the narrow channel that separates Srays from the neighboring island of Loshan. The swing bridge allows the passage of smaller boats. Asor has a long and rich history and was an important center of culture and trade during the Roman Empire. Today, with its charming old town and numerous historic buildings, Asor attracts numerous artists. Mali Loshan on Loshan Island is the largest town of all Croatian islands. Despite the size, it has preserved traditional architecture and style of life. It is a popular tourist destination, attracting visitors from all over the world who come to enjoy its natural beauty and relaxed atmosphere. Many charming coves with beautiful beaches surround the town. Chakat Bay is home to several hotels, resorts and luxury villas in lush pine forest. Beautiful walking paths connect with the town and other bays, making it a great place to stay and explore while visiting the island of Loshan. The Istrian side of Kavana, divided from the rest of the peninsula by forested Uchka Mountain steeply descending almost to the sea, is more urbanized, with tightly packed towns on the shore. Vienna-style Opatia town is the most glitzy, with luxurious villas and a beautiful coastal promenade, attracting affluent guests worldwide. The town has a rich history as a popular seaside resort destination, with many grand buildings and hotels dating back to the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Visitors can stroll along the Lungomer, a scenic coastal path that connects Opatia with nearby towns and villages, or relax on one of the many beaches in the area. Finally, we arrive at Istria, a beautiful peninsula in the Adriatic Sea's northern part. It is divided between three countries, Croatia, Slovenia, and Italy, with the largest portion belonging to Croatia. This part of the coast blends Austrian, Italian and Croatian styles, reflecting its history. The Istrian coast lacks spectacular natural landscapes, as in Dalmatia. Still, it makes it up with an astonishing urban and rural life. Karmaniak Cape is especially impressive for its rugged rocky shore, with imprints of dinosaurs that once roamed. Karmaniak is a mosaic of natural and rural elements, crisscrossed with paths for hiking and cycling. In spring, the grasslands are teeming with orchids. Off the coast of the Istria Peninsula near Pula, 14 islands are part of the Briuni National Park. These islands flourished during the Roman period, with luxurious villas in Verigi Bay and temples and theatres built to cater to the elites of Roman society. The Byzantine era saw the construction of another fortress, now called Castrum. Over the centuries, the islands changed hands multiple times, witnessing the rise and fall of numerous empires and civilizations. In the late 19th century, the Briuni Islands were transformed into a fashionable health resort by an Austrian industrialist, Paul Kupelwieser. The island's unique microclimate, lush vegetation, and pristine beaches attracted the European elite. In the post-World War II period, the Briuni served as the summer residence of Yugoslavia's President Tito, hosting numerous world leaders and celebrities. The Safari Park is one of the most unique attractions in the Briuni Islands. The park hosts a variety of exotic animals, including elephants, zebras, llamas, and even a Shetland pony. These animals were gifted to Tito by world leaders and now roam freely in the vast park. Today, biking and hiking trails provide an opportunity to explore the island. Golf lovers can enjoy a round at the Briuni Golf Course, one of the oldest in Europe. 
visitors can step on dinosaur tracks while walking on the rocky shore of Briuni. The islands are home to over 200 footprints from various dinosaur species that roamed this area some 130 million years ago. Smaller islands are a haven for wildlife, especially marine birds like the shag or gulls that nest here. Charming towns like Porridge, Roven, and Pula are worth visiting even without their surrounding beaches. Pula is the largest city in Istria, with impressive Roman ruins. The city's most famous landmark is the well-preserved Roman amphitheatre, which dates back to the 1st century AD and is one of the largest surviving Roman arenas in the world. Visitors can also explore the ancient Roman Forum, the Temple of Augustus, and the Arch of the Sergii. Roven is a picturesque coastal town on the western coast of Istria. Its charming old town is a maze of narrow streets, colorful houses, and historical buildings. The town's most famous landmark is the Baroque-style St. Euphemius Church, which dominates the skyline with its bell tower. Porich is another beautiful coastal town on the Istrian coast. The town's most famous site is the UNESCO-listed Euphrasian Basilica, a magnificent example of Byzantine art and architecture. The ancient Roman Forum, the Temple of Neptune, and the many Venetian-style palaces and buildings are also in the area. Savudria is the final point on the coast before the Slovenian border. Savudria Lighthouse dates back to the early 19th century and is the oldest in Croatia. Savudria is also famous for its hanging boats, a traditional way of storing small fishing boats. Local fishermen will hang their boats on wooden poles to save them from the wind and tides. Istra Inland is a rural landscape with rolling hills, forests, vineyards, fields and medieval-looking hilltop towns, resembling Italy's Tuscany. Motavun is a charming medieval town in the heart of Istria's interior. It is built on the top of the hill and surrounded by vineyards and olive groves. Motavun's ancient walls and narrow streets are well preserved and offer visitors a glimpse into Istria's rich history and stunning views of the surrounding countryside. The town is also famous for its truffles harvested from the nearby Motavun forest. Groznian is another small hilltop town with charming medieval architecture, narrow streets, and beautiful views of the surrounding countryside. The town has a rich cultural heritage and a vibrant art scene. Hume is known as the world's smallest town, and it looks like the time has stopped here centuries ago. Kotli is a tiny village in the heart of Istria. The Myrna River flows through it, with beautiful waterfalls and natural pools in the stony bedrock. An old watermill was built in the canyon to satisfy the needs of the local population for flour and bread. Istra is also a country of waterfalls, with dozens of them. Pazinski Krov plummets to the rocky bed near the town of Pazin. Pazinchitsa river that flows shortly after disappears in the giant abyss below the cliffs where the old town of Pazin was founded. Istria is the last of many beautiful parts of Croatia. Immerse yourself in Croatia's colorful mosaic, adorned with breathtaking nature, preserved wildlife, extraordinary places, stunning beaches, crystal clear seas, charming old towns, and rich culture. Croatia still keeps many secrets and hidden gems, inviting you to embark on a journey of discovery.